Are you ready for a tour of Graha Maria Anne Velangani? I will be your guide to explain my Indo Mughal architectural building studded with symbolism in shape, colors, ornaments, sculpture, murals, and paintings that manifest the salvation history of mankind as found in the Bible and the traditional teachings of the Catholic faith in an attempt in inculturalization. You enter through the local culture evident in the entrance arc with the Ruma Adat Bata, the traditional houses of Tobanese and Taronese of the Bata tribe. The multiracial people in their cultural dress, sculptured on the pillars of the compound wall of the shrine, symbolize that everyone is welcome here. The lofty and imposing structure invites you to feast your eyes on my beauty. I was conceived by that Jesuit dreamer to be a place where heaven and earth meet and where God Almighty, the trinity of Christian faith, would like to meet human beings of goodwill to give them a taste of the divine. These central ideas have been expressed symbolically by my structure that consists of two floors. The community hall of St. Anne, the mother of Mary and the grandmother of Jesus is on the ground floor with the ramps on both sides representing the earth and the first floor with its seven-story tower representing heaven. Number seven is considered to be a perfect number in almost all the cultures and it is in heaven that perfection is found. The three domes seen on my structure represents symbolically the triune God in heaven. Four angels set at the four corners of the roof of the church symbolize the heavenly presence over the church. Now I invite you to look at the asphalted road that leads to me and the rams that will take you to the first floor. Symbolically, they represent the embrace of the divine and the human. The embrace of the divine represents the weak and sinful man and woman coming here and falling in prostration, pleading for help. And the embrace of the human using Mary's motherly arms that are represented by the two rams taking the human in loving embrace in order to make her son Jesus the savior of the world known and loved and to be united with him. As you proceed you cannot but notice the small fountain in front of the portico at the center of St. Anne's community hall. In reality it brings to memory the gospel scene of Jesus' conversation with the Samaritan woman at the Jacob's well, symbolically inviting every visitor to me. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. John 7.37 Whoever drinks of this water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up in everlasting life. John 4.14 Before going up to the church on the first floor, I would like you to take a look at the two banana plants in front of St. Anne's Community Hall. Symbolically, it means that to all who come into the embrace of Mary, God promises salvation and eternal life in her son Jesus Christ. For according to the Indian, Karonese and Javanese culture, the banana plant represents unending life. The ascending roads have a balustrade that is covered with paintings from the creation narrative as told in the book of Genesis from the first until the last day of creation. But as we know, man eventually committed sin and was expelled from paradise. As for people, irrespective of religion, who just want to have a social meeting, 
Sinan's community hall can be used without restrictions. But people who are in quest of the Emmanuel should go on with the pilgrimage. They should ascend the road to the house of God upstairs. The road, the pilgrim's entire path, is lit with 40 lambs. Those who are seeking God need not be afraid, for they will not walk in darkness. Their faith will enlighten the way. The 40 lambs on the hanging road reminds us of the journey of the people of Israel to the promised land. 40 years of wandering through the desert. The lambs also remind us of the 40 days of fasting of Jesus in the desert. Furthermore, before they start climbing, they are reminded, again symbolically, that the quest for God is not easy. The road to heaven is full of crosses. So on this road, they will find the sign of the cross all along the road. The steeple you see in me is similar to a seven-story housing flat. It symbolizes that in heaven there is a place for everyone. As Jesus said, I am going to my Father's house to prepare a place for you. John 14 verse 2 In this way, the whole teaching of the Bible and the church has been pictured out in me. Just as it used to be in Christian Europe in the medieval cathedrals, I can be called the Biblia Paparu, the poor man's Bible. In short, I am the church of proclamation, a new way of evangelization, a Sunday school. Anyone who goes through me will certainly come to know the history of salvation and also of what the Catholics believe in.